Today we're going to cover how to import a project from GitHub. You'll bring in some pickups and inventory crafting. You'll be able to mine things or chop wood, gather berries, and interact with a shopkeeper. So let's get to it. You're going to want to start a new Unity project. I'm going to go ahead and use Unity 2020.1 um, and I'm going to name this project, let's call it Mining RPG. Click create and as we wait for this project to be loaded into Unity, we're going to go ahead and go to my GitHub and we're going to take a look at this simple inventory repo. This tutorial is simple because all we're going to do is clone this uh, project and bring it into our own. So let's click on this green code drop down and download this as a zip so we can manually bring these files into our Unity project. Let's take a look at our project. You guys should have a blank one. I've got this imported asset. I'll show you about that later. Now let's go into our um, that file that we just downloaded. Oh, let's download it again. Sorry. Okay. We will open that up and we will open our, uh, you'll open your project folder. Okay, so you should have your, in documents, Unity, you should have the name of your project and then an assets folder. So we're going to go ahead and bring in all of our assets. Okay, so let's select everything except for this project settings folder. That was a mistake that I made in the repo. Okay, so go ahead and drag and drop that into your assets and then you're going to replace, or I'm going to replace in this case, I'm going to replace those three files. Okay, so uh, in order for this project to work, we're going to want to, in the project settings folder, we're just going to bring in the tags manager. Okay, the tag manager. And that should uh, give us like all the mining, the ground, and uh, shop layers and stuff like that. So this will make the project work right out of the box. So you'll go ahead and reload this scene and you should see that it um, immediately works. You'll have you'll have to import um, Text Mesh Pro in order for the UI to work. You don't need the examples or extras and then you guys should have like a pink asset here or, or maybe it's just um, empty okay maybe it's just invisible all right so you'll download this small rock all right um y if you want this one in particular you'll have to set up a an account at turbo squid this is a free rock i searched in free models uh searching for rock and the fbx format i went down here to the uh, granite rock and downloaded this okay so this is uh once you import that that should uh, automatically work, okay? So if we press play here, we should see that these pickups work, right? If I press tab, I'll see uh, my crafting and inventory, okay? And then if I go over here to a tree or a bush, and I right click, if I hold down the right um, mouse, I'll be mining it and I can craft a chair with wood, go over here to the shop and I can, um, sell my stuff or buy stuff from him okay that's it for this video hopefully you guys liked it if you like this sort of content then subscribe to my channel i'm gonna try and upload some videos that explain how i made these systems and i'm gonna try and do it without just showing you the code that i used. what i want to do is be able to teach you how to do it yourself as opposed to just putting up some code so that you copy it or even just explaining it line by line. I don't think that's effective and it's not the way that I learned. So that's what you can look forward to in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Another mic check, balls, P, P, P. I'm saying the P, P, poo, poop, butt, fart, butt fart.